now uh, we're gonna talk about if and else statements right so uh, these are basically the decision making statements uh, which will execute only and only if the condition is true right so if will be executed only and only if the condition is true if the condition is not true then your else will be executed right there there are couple of if statement if else statement and if else if and else statement right so what are these will be talking about these statements these are very important in core java right so uh, let us see how we uh, gonna uh, execute these statements so let us go back to eclipse and create a new class and give it a name as if uh, else statement right now before we start practicing if else statement we'll first gonna take a look at the syntax how it works so I'm gonna write if and here this block is for the condition right so condition as in condition if the condition is true then this block will be executed right now how we get this condition true or false that is what we need to work on right now what we were doing uh, initially we were generating some random numbers over here right now I'll be writing some logic uh, if uh, the random number uh, is greater than uh, let's say uh, 10 or greater than 15 then it should print uh, like pass or else it should uh, do something else right so the very first thing will be will be checking taking a look at uh, this block this if block so what I'm gonna do I'll be uh, just calling the code from here for the random number and I'll just paste it over here right now let us run this and let's see what number it is actually generating so we are actually generating a number up till uh, 5 so I'll just make it 20 right now what happens as soon as I run it it's, it is actually generating a number over here like this right so I can write a condition over here if number is greater than 10 right it should go inside it and print number is greater than 10 right now if this condition is satisfied then only it will go inside this block and it will print this right now it's not mandatory that if I if I need to write this thing I need to write this in a block only I can write it like this way as well right so if I run this see 18 the number is greater than 10 even I can write a number I can write this variable over here num plus and like this let us run this 6 see 6 is not greater than 10 so it has not printed it next number 15 is greater than 10 right so this is how we write the code for if anything uh, if the conditions is satisfied then it will actually gonna execute this block now let's say if the condition is not satisfied if it is not satisfied it is not printing anything it is not returning as anything so what we can do over here we can write a else statement if the condition is not satisfied it will go inside the else statement and we will gonna write over here number is less than 10 right so if I run this 15 is greater than 10 9 is less than 10 6 is less than 10 see if the number is greater then this condition gets satisfied if not then the else condition gets satisfied and it returns the value like this right now I can add another condition over here 
that says else if number is greater than 10 and the number is less than 15 right so this is another else if statement so i'm going to write over here uh, number between 10 and 15 right and probably uh, if I run this thing now if this condition is satisfied it will gonna print this else it will gonna print this so we can have n number of else if condition so what hap what is happening over here this else is basically tied to this if this else is tied to this if so we can have a number of else if statements over here so if i run this now 6 is less than 10 11 is greater than 10 right so what it prints over here we have written uh, 11 is greater than 10 see so what's happening over here we have a syntax error see we are satisfying this condition as well as we are satisfying this condition so this will actually gonna take a priority right now what i'll i'll gonna do uh, i'll just gonna say number uh, less than 10 right and a number greater than 5 right now let us run this so 3 is less than 10 so it does not satisfy this condition and does not satisfy this condition let us run this again 3 12 12 is greater than 10 11 is greater than 10 18 16 so 9 as soon as the number 9 comes it lies between 10 and 5 Right, okay, we have written 15 over here, so it has printed this. So it lies between 10 and 5. 10 is less than 10. So we have not used any equal to sign over here, right? So if, uh, what what is happening if the number, see 10 is greater than 10. So this condition does not satisfy. This condition even does not satisfy. That is the reason this condition got satisfied so over here it is printing 10 is less than 10 whereas if we can also write if num less than or greater than equal to 10 so next time when the 10 number comes it should actually gonna print 10 is greater than 10 so 7 is between 10 and 5 Right, this is how you can play with this if and else condition or if you don't want to give this equal to sign over here you can even say a uh, number less than equal to uh, this and number greater than equal to this so if anything that falls between 10 to 5 including the 10 and the 5 it will gonna give that number over here so let us see if uh, 5 or 10 they appear randomly or not let us see this thing 4 in 10 see as soon as 10 appears it says between 10 and 15 because we have handled this condition over here so whichever condition gets satisfied this thing this block is basically with the if statement right now you can put it inside curly braces as well you can write it without the curly braces as well right you can do it in any ways like this as well so it should not matter right again it should work fine So that is uh, all about if and else and uh, in the next lecture we are going to start with loops alright.